never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm never stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, I'm always flirting with pain She likes to hurt me and maim I'm always working to change But she's still lurking the same I keep on building a dynasty While the haters be trying me But they hate from inside You see, hate themselves in society So I let them speak quietly While my actions speak wider See, they be hiding in privacy With the screen only the eye need to hate someone who's trying to be Whatever they would like to be We all feel the anxiety We make our own rivalry Hey guys, good morning Coach Castle here and I just wanted to show you guys a quick park workout because a lot of you guys have been asking me how to work out at the park calisthenically but intelligently because most of you know my opinion on calisthenics. Uh, they're very momentum based. It's difficult to control the actual load. Hard to build muscle with calisthenics essentially. It's very ineffective. So let me show you what you can do. Effective calisthenics and I'll go through each muscle group. So the first two I'm going to show you are going to be for your rear deltoids your middle and lower trapezius. So the first one will be rear deltoids. Notice that I'm pulling my upper arm backwards in a diagonal plane of movement. And then the second one is going to be the mid and lower trapezius. And note that I am actually moving my, sh uh, my shoulder cradle forward and backwards, but my arm is maintaining a 90 degree bend the whole time. So let's get into the first two, rear delt and middle and lower trapezius. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you two legs. The first one is going to be a pendulum squat, but using your arms as ropes, so just keep them slack, don't assist yourself with your arms. And then the second one is going to be the standard old calf raise, so watch and learn. All right, now I'm gonna show you, uh, I don't know, abs and front delt, I guess. All right, so. You guys can see me okay? First one's gonna be front delt push-up. You're gonna have your hands spun around like this. So your wrists are forward as much as comfortable. Elbows will be underneath your belly button. You just go down and up. Okay. Of course, for abdominals, make sure that your legs are bent. Lower back is flat on the ground. And you're just going to arch your spine, bring in your lower ribs to your pelvis. Okay. And 
then next, if you want to do, let's do, um, I guess, your lats and your pecs. So lats will just be a chin-up or either that or a wide grip pull-up, however big the bar is. No preference, guys. Just make sure that you're trying to pull with your lats primarily. And then for your chest, down here again, but arms wider a little bit. You're gonna have a slight arc in your back as well. Oops, sorry, a little bit closer. And arc in your back, down and up. Alright, then we got the psoas. I'm going to show you how to do shrugs as well with body weight, but for God's sakes, don't do this <laughs> unless you're comfortable with your body weight, moving it around, your grip strength, or your mobility, everything, okay? So the reason I say that is you'll be upside down. So your body weight will be inverted. You'll be moving your shoulders up and down, same thing as you would for a shrug, but Again, you'll be upside down. So just make sure you're comfortable doing this, guys. So I'll leave it there. There's some other obvious ones you can do, but um, things like the lateral delt, bicep, tricep, hamstring, um, they all require like light weight. You can do tricep. Let me show you tricep real quick. I'll show you tricep and glutes real quick, but it's not as effective as just getting like a bag of sand or a, some kind of a dumbbell. But I'll show you triceps and glutes real quick. Glutes is basically just a step up, but make sure it's under control. And for the triceps, the lower that the bar or bench is that you're using, the more difficult it's gonna be. But you wanna make sure that your upper arm is locked against your torso for the movement. So I'll show you on the bench over here.
Now just bear in mind, if you were so inclined, uh, you could do all your body parts in some manner here, um, without anything really. But it's not as deficient, which is why I always promote my newest invention, the Keychain Gym, or just a portable gym. It's basically just a micro pulley, high tensile cable, handle, a couple clips, bag which holds 75 pounds, you put rocks, dirt, whatever you want in there for weight, and then you can perfectly train every muscle in your body with the correct knowledge. So again, it's not the pan, it's the man. It's not the tool, it's how you use it. And if you have the tool and the right knowledge, well, you never need a gym or anything else again. Even everything I just did would be the best calisthenic movement for those particular body parts. Now, you have to have the right knowledge to know exactly how to perform this correctly. You can't just monkey see it, monkey do from the video. You can get close, but it's not the same as having efficient knowledge of it. So again, guys, just make sure you check out my other videos, my other playlists, ego lifting versus biomechanics, intelligent exercise, intelligent exercises, uh, arguments for intelligent exercises, my podcasts, Mist Busters, Adapt and Overcome, Biomechanically Perfect Exercises, all of these. Make sure you check them out, guys. Make sure you leave a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, have a great day. Till I got it, I won't give up till I'm on top. Come on.